Hardware engineering is certainly a cool job. You can be the one working on amazing products like Apple's M1 chip or Tesla's autonomous driving chip. It is definitely one of the best paid jobs and guarantees prosperous future. Sounds like you want to jump on this train? Well, maybe you shouldn't. In this video, I will discuss reasons why hardware engineering might be not the right career for you. Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Anastasia and I am a hardware engineer. As you might know from my previous videos, I've been working as a full-stack software developer and then I decided to switch to hardware and never regret it. And for the last four years, I've been working in hardware. I even created this channel to spread this message that hardware engineering career is great and to make more people to go in hardware. But guys, I have to be honest, there are also challenges. It's not always rainbows and sunshine and no one is talking about this. So today I would like to share with you five reasons why hardware engineering might be not the right career for you. First of all, hardware is hard. The entry barrier for hardware job positions is pretty high. You need to have at least a bachelor's degree, but preferably a master's degree in electrical engineering or computer engineering. So in order to qualify for a hardware job position, you need to invest four to 10 years in education. Actually, you need to have knowledge from different fields of electronics and semiconductor physics, analog design, digital design, control theory and on top of that you need to know how to code and how to use unix shell because all the eda tools for hardware development are running on linux moreover it is constantly growing and changing field and the, the emerging technologies like machine learning and ai you are required to constantly learn at work Yes, I know it sounds like a lot, a lot, but the trick is that with the time you learn and then you become superwoman. For me, this is exactly the beauty of this job because I'm constantly learning, I'm always challenged and it's, it's endless fun. <laughs> so yes, working in hardware is definitely hard, but what is hard for one person is fun and joy for another person. So the question is which kind of a person you are. But in case you don't want to invest years and years in education and then constantly be challenged at work and constantly be learning at work, then hardware engineering might be not the right job for you. Another thing to consider is that hardware engineering job is really stressful and here is why. The design cycle of a hardware product, for instance a chip, may take one or two years. So it is significantly longer in comparison to the software products. The end result of a hardware development cycle is a physical product, a chip. The point here that afterwards you cannot really fix mistakes or push changes. When it's done, it is done. So you work, you do design, solve problems, and then inevitably tape out comes. Tape out is the most fun time because the layout of the chip is finished and it will be sent to the fab for manufacturing. So this tape out phase is usually the most stressful one because you have a lot of pressure, like time pressure, and you have no chance to make mistakes because the cost of mistake in hardware is super high. I mean, if someone makes a mistake, it's likely that the chip, which will come back from the fab, will be not functional. It can be completely dead. And the fabrication of chip costs company hundreds of thousands of euro and months of time, so we don't want to waste any of this. This is a huge difference to the software world, where you can always push updates and product cycles are much shorter and cost of mistake is not that high. So in hardware engineering, you have to be very, very careful. I check data like 20 times before I release it and I'm often getting paranoid. So I have a checklist for things to check and then checklists to double check and then I check again. Anyhow, don't get scared. Yes, the cost of mistake is very high, but that's why so many verification 
Verification engineers and different checks are involved. Hardware engineering job requires always a lot of concentration and focus and ability to manage stress, especially in the tape out phase and always double checking. So if you don't want to have a stressful job, then hardware engineering might be not the right career for you. It's something to consider before jumping on this train. The next point to mention here is that the hardware industry is not really diverse. You know the stereotype of a hardware engineer who is looking like me, <laughs> joking, who is a guy in mid-30s wearing t-shirt and jeans and glasses. Hardware engineering is definitely a boys club. I think statistically 90% are guys and just 10% of female engineers. Actually, I faced this also in my team because I'm a single female engineer in my team, but I feel very comfortable about that because I guess I just used to that. And this is strongly depends on your personality because I'm just used to that from my school years and university years because when you study computer engineering and electrical engineering, like 95% of your classmates are guys and you just get used to work with them and be friends with them. So hardware engineering is not really diverse. This is something to consider before you decide to become a hardware engineer, that you will be mostly working with male colleagues for now, but this is also slowly changing. I also see it in my company, more and more female engineers are coming. So it's something which should not scare you from pursuing your dream career. Another thing to consider that the hardware engineering career is not really social. For sure, we are working in teams, there is team spirit, and we have lots of discussions, meetings, calls, but the most of the time it is about me sitting one-to-one -to, -one to my laptop and figuring out some solutions. Depending on your personality, it may feel a little lonely. I never felt this way. As you may have figured out, I am a completely introvert, so I'm enjoying being on my own. So alone at the computer sounds like a heaven for me. <laughs> However, I think that strongly extroverted people in this case may feel lack of interaction with other people and simply talking to other people, so it's nothing like working in sales. Another point I want to discuss here, maybe some of you guys going in hardware, so one day you can kick off your own company or startup. We all know successful companies like Tesla, Oculus, Nest, which once were startups. But the reality is that the most of the startups nowadays are software, and there are many reasons for that. It is relatively easy to kick off a software startup. You can start with a couple of developers and as little as 100k investment. The development cycle is also much shorter, and the first product can be delivered in just a couple of months. In contrast, hardware startups usually require half a million up investment and also you need much more people and development cycle is significantly longer. And as I've mentioned, the cost of mistake is very high and you need additional money to tape out your first physical product, your hardware. As a result, it is much easier to raise money for a software startup. So if you are up to kicking off the next Tesla, then be ready for challenges. Making new hardware is hard. Anyway, I hope that this video will not discourage you from pursuing career in hardware, rather opposite, even more inspire you to go for it. And the points which I mentioned, uh, they are not really issues, it's rather challenges. So it's good to consider, but you should not be scared of it. And yes, hardware is hard, but if you enjoy it, it doesn't feel that hard, it feels more like fun. I think whatever job you choose, you will be always facing challenges and problems. And the trick here is to find problems which you love to solve. If you find hardware engineering interesting, you should definitely go for it. Now watch another my video on how to become a hardware engineer. I will link it here. And thank you so much for watching guys. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like and to subscribe to my channel. And I will see you next week in my next video. Ciao!